All right, going back and up to 3DCS, and I'm going to update model. I am going to update the GDT. And I can just select the frame or select uh, the whole part or the whole assembly. So I just got the two. And what it's, that's going to do is going to actually create all of the, uh, it created the feature, it brought over the points. Frame, and here's our GDT. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing really quick on the um, on the knuckle because I have all my GDTs over here. And let's delete that really quick. Yep. Say GDT. Go. So it's just pulling over, you said, the, so if there are datum features, it's pulling that. It's got the tolerances. It's got the CAD points all being drawn in straight from the CATIA and automatically being applied to your model. Right. So if your model's already been toleranced and had GD&T added to it, there's no need to add 3DCS tolerances unless you've got additional tolerances you want to add onto it. Or if you're doing something like the fixtures or additional uh, process. Right. So from the same thing from before, we got our four points here. This is all from that um, uh, the primary datum, the A datum, and then we also have the profile, the surface profile, uh, and then also on the knuckle we have all these datums, which was twelve. So these all brought over the same datum flatness, and then within FGNA we can, when we bring it over into 3DCS, we can modify the range. So if I uh, this flatness wasn't, oh, let's do another one. Let's go to this position tolerance. So last position in our results was probably given a too high of um, uh, output. Yeah, too high of an output. I can change the range or if I, yeah, change the range. I can also modify everything else in this dialog. And then I can update to FTNA and that's going to push the change back to the data or the position tolerance into my knuckle. So basically you can change all the tolerances in 3DCS that you pulled from the GDNT in CAD because yep. this works for PMI and NX as well. You can test it so you can make multiple changes in 3DCS, test and optimize before you push back into the CAD. Right. So really 3DCS becomes a test bed for optimizing your GDNT. Yes. So now there's my point two. Now if I go ahead and find my nominal build and deviate, all my tolerances are now based on that GDT. All these tolerances in here should be turned off. And there we go. So there's my all my GDT tolerances. So he's just showing uh, visual deviation here, where you can see the the parts actually being moved and the, the geometry being deformed within the um, tolerance ranges using Monte Carlo simulation. 